Lucifer is feeling very heavy today. We're moving the plant right now, fully dressed here. We certainly don't have time this late in the season to fully disassemble the plant for the move and then put it all back together. The sluice runs are shaking really good side to side, and that's just because any bit of input you give it just gets amplified throughout the wash plant. You know, if you jerk the wash plant a little bit one way or the other, all that energy transfers through. So we're trying to be just smooth and steady here. Hopefully we don't end up breaking this thing. Right now, we're just approaching the runway that we built. With no flight schedule or way of communicating with planes coming in to land, Tyson will act as spotter. The last thing we want is to have this wash plant stuck there in the middle of the runway, have somebody wanting to land and not be able to. So just going to try and uh, get through there with no trouble. See what happens. Hey, Mitch, you got a copy, Mitch? Yeah, go ahead. Looks like a plane's coming in right now. Thanks for the heads up, I'll hold here. Looks like he's looping around and gonna come in landing downstream. You know, when we built the runway, we had no intention of ever uh, going back to the Panama Canal. And uh, never did we think we'd be dragging a fully dressed wash plant back down this runway. Looks like he's heading towards Eureka now. So he might not be coming in for a landing. Yeah, man, I think we're good. We're gonna go for it here. Runway's clear, we're going for it. Oh, oh, hang on a sec, Mitch. We got a plane coming in. Oh, yeah, that's pretty sketchy. Oh, that was a good spot there, man. All right, Tyson. Well, that guy landed here, but uh, I'm just going to get on the runway right now, so. Just keep your head on a swivel there if you see anybody coming in. My eyes are glued on the sky. Hopefully we can get this thing where it needs to be here before another plane's circling. Oh, hang on there, Mitch. You're going to catch the sluices on the runway. Just have to take a little more out of this end. Man, go in there and widen it out as much as you can. So Slucifer is 32 feet wide from wing to wing, so we just got to widen our lower road a little bit here make it so Slucifer can make it by. Doing pretty good on this plant move, but tearing a wing off could change all that very quickly. All right, we just got to keep it right down the center here. We got no room for air. Hey, we got something in the distance over there to the west. You see that? Just get her up there quick. Come on, baby. Let's go, let's go. All right, man, there it is. We got Sucifer past the runway. We're gaining on it. More than two hours after starting the move, Mitch and Tyson reached their final destination. Well, we are here at the Panama Canal, but now for the hardest part of this whole deal is getting this heavy wash plant up on top of that pad and getting it in place. You want to jump up here on the pad and help guide this thing into place? Copy that. Looking good, Mitch. Just keep her coming like that. That's a little easier said than done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Don't want to flip it into the plant. It was to show how much Lucifer weighs and how the 750 is even struggling to pull it up. Lucifer on the pad, Mitch must rotate it. 90 degrees into position. Looking right there. You like it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the last sluice for wash plant move of the year. It's in place, it's level, and we're happy. Nice job, there man. There we go. All that's left. Connect the 120-foot-long super stacker that feeds pay to the plant and fire up. Let's throw some dirt in this thing. 
This is the first scoop from the Panama Canal going through Slucifer here. Now it's a matter of, uh, is there any gold in it? Hey, Boomer. Hey, T. How's it going? Good. So far this season, Parker's Yukon crew has banked just under 6,000 ounces, still way short of last year's 8,300-ounce gold haul. Quite the week, man. Yeah. Now, with the latest gold from three different cuts, it's time to see how close he is to a record season. Mitch, you ready for your baby? Let's hear it, man. Up first, Big Red on the runway cut. 150, keep going. 230, 240, 250, 280, 290, 300 right on the dot. On the nose. Worth over half a million dollars. Next up, Slucifer's last gold from the payback cut. 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 100. 109.9. Almost $190,000. That cut went fine. Yeah. Nothing special, but if we can't get special, we'll take consistent. <laughs> yeah. Finally, Slucifer's first gold from the Panama Canal cut. We almost had an airplane land on the pre-washed Slucifer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who has the right of way when you're moving a wash plant across the runway? <laughs> we were kind of wondering the same thing. We definitely were bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Did it get any gold, Doom it? Oh, it got a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Let's check it out. Here we go. Here we go. 10, 30, 40, 60, 100. Here we go. 120, 140, 159. Look at that. Not bad. I have a lot of hours on that. No. Aren't you? Good, good. Yeah, it's gonna be a great start, right? Just three days sluicing has delivered $270,000 of gold, bringing their season total to 6,708 ounces. To beat last season's record haul, Parker now needs his Panama Canal gamble to keep paying off. All right, you guys, let's get sluicing. We're yeah. gonna try and find some more. Thanks, Dumit. Okay, buddy. Take care. I gotta bag this stuff up. I'm Parker Schnabel and you're watching Discovery Australia. Hit subscribe now to not miss out on any Gold Rush content.